swim picking for those determined to trawl for the debris on the beach. Behaviour described by those who look after this part of our coast as despicable. Environmental damage is all the worse for the actions of the people who've come from across Britain, lured by the so-called loot. This pair travelled from Essex. So much for declaring their goods and keeping them safe until the owners come forward. 24 hours on, nappies from the Napoli are up for sale on the internet. These goods belong to ordinary families, not just big corporations. Anita and Jan Boxdal were shipping their family possessions to South Africa, where they started a vineyard. Their rugs, china, gifts from their parents, all being picked over on the beach. Oh yes, we were very shocked. We couldn't believe it was ours. Um, about one, one and a half hour later, we saw, you know, that they made a hole in the box and that they were trying to, you know, struggle things out of there. And it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's terrible. It's disgusting. Today, the receiver of Rex decided to seal off the beach, but critics say that was way too little, too late. What would you say to those people who've seen their content strewn along the shoreline? Couldn't you have acted quicker? No, clearly um, we weren't expecting that sort of behaviour, and I sympathise deeply. I reflected long and hard if it was my property and I was witnessing that, I would have been devastated. This is the emergency situation maritime teams were expecting to focus on. Listing at a precarious angle, the rupture in her hull clear to see, salvage teams are on board the Napoli, pumping out the oil. Removing all the containers will take at least a year. She's beached just a mile away from the chaos on the coast, and now, after sunset, if more of the lost cargo washes ashore, the police will be helping the receiver of wrecks to trace it.